Chipotle had another great quarter, and despite that, despite delivering solid numbers, great margins, industry-leading margins, the stock continues to go down. It went under $50. By the time you're watching this video, maybe it has rebounded, maybe not. But what exactly has happened? What's the problem with this stock? Because since the split, the stock continues to split down and down and down and down. Is it a company-specific issue or is it industry-wide? Well, for that, let's start with McDonald's. McDonald's reported their latest Q2 figures. It was a miss. So McDonald's reported revenue of $6.49 billion, up just 2% year over year, compared to estimates of $6.63 billion. Adjusted earnings came in at $2.97, also came in lower than the $3.07 expected. The CEO said consumers are discriminating with their spend. The team is focusing on outstanding execution of providing reliable everyday value and accelerating strategic growth drivers like chicken and loyalty. So maybe it's not a Chipotle problem since they had a good quarter. Maybe it is just sentiment around the restaurant industry. Well, before continuing and jumping to the earnings report, there was something quite mind-blowing that Chipotle announced. And that's this thing right here. Chipotle and Wonderskin launch Lipotle, lip stain in celebration of National Avocado Day. Talk about some innovation here. I mean, when I saw this, I thought this was a joke. I thought this was an April's Fool joke, but no, apparently this is a real thing. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Of course, this is a marketing thing, should drive more sales. On National Avocado Day, yes, again, this is another real thing that exists. National Avocado Day, July 31st, Chipotle fan can score a free digital guac offer with promo code AVO2024. Okay, let's see if this thing is a hit or a miss. Now, before continuing, if you enjoyed this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not. We're on our way to reach 50,000 subscribers, so thank you very much for all the support. And if you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment with the top 10 best stocks to buy now, or go to fool.com forward slash couch investor. Thank you very much. So, Chipotle Mexican Grill, ticker symbol CMG. Right now, at the time of making this video, it's actually above $50, $50 and 79 cents, has a market cap of just over $68 billion and a forward PE of 42.8 times. So definitely not the cheapest stock out there. Year to date, the stock is still up 11% despite the big pullback. In the last five years, stock is up 225%. Year over year, stock is up 32%. Now looking at the analyst estimates for fiscal year 24, 25, 26, not much has changed since the last video we did right before the earnings report. So sales growth year over year around 13 to 14% each and every fiscal year, and then EPS growth closer to 20%. As for the average analyst price target, that still sits around 25% higher than the price we're at today. And so the expensive stock has always been expensive, but right now forward PE is a bit lower than the five year mean. EV to EBITDA, is also a bit lower than the five-year mean. Price to sales is a bit higher, 5.8 times compared to 5.2 times. Price to free cash flow in the last 12 months, that is 53.5 times compared to 70.5 times. And then price earnings to grow that has come down now under two, we're at 1.97. Definitely not the cheapest out there. But remember, this is a company that is definitely leading in their industry, has industry leading margins. Those margins might be peaking though. The company's free cash flow has been increasing throughout the years as well. Yes, you see that huge jump here in shares outstanding. That's because of the stock split, not because of suddenly huge dilution. And so overall, what you get is a business that revenue wise is growing quite nicely with the market, I would say, but profit wise, that's increasing quite faster each and every year, or at least in the last five years. Return on equity in the last 12 months sits at 43% and return on invested capital sits at 17.5%. So again, a very, very solid business that is definitely a good one to hold for the long run. Of course, you would always like to get it at a cheaper price. But then again, do we have a crystal ball? No, we do not. Now, before jumping into this earnings report, there were, of course, concerns with regard to Chipotle, especially on social media, talking about the portion sizes. And so the CEO addressed that problem or that issue right away in the earnings call. 
said here, before I give an update on our five key strategies, I want to take a minute to address the portion concerns that have been brought up in social media. First, there was never a directive to provide less to our customers. Generous portion is a core brand equity of Chipotle. It always has been and always will be. With that said, getting the feedback caused us to relook at our execution across our entire system with the intention to always serve our guests delicious, fresh custom burritos. And I would assume this is a typo of bowls with <laughs> generous portions. To be more consistent across all 3,500 restaurants, we have focused in on those with outlier portion scores based on consumer surveys. And we are emphasizing training and coaching around ensuring we are consistently making bowls and burritos correctly. So there you have it. It has been corrected or hopefully it will be corrected. Now for the quarter, like I said, a pretty strong quarter for Chipotle. Total revenue increased 18.2% to $3 billion. Comparable restaurant sales increased 11.11%. .11 operating margin was 19.7%, an increase from 17.2% in the same quarter last year and also an increase quarter over quarter. Same thing here for restaurant level operating margin that was 28.9%, an increase of 140 basis points. And again, this is for a restaurant business. This is very, very impressive. Now, during the call, they did provide a little bit more about what's happening right now, or at least in June and a bit of July as well. So sales comms were highest in April, driven by the Easter shift, a strong reaction to the return of Chicle Al Pastor and several successful activations, including National Burrito Day. Comms settled back to around 6% in June and continued to be driven by positive transactions. July has been more difficult to read so far due to the fourth holiday, weather disruption in Texas and the impact from our recent technology outage, but we believe the underlying trend remains similar to June. And so maybe the market is watching this and saying, hmm, maybe there is going to be a slowdown which could hit Chipotle. Then again, there have been some price increases for the last couple of years. That's why you've seen industry leading margins and margins increasing each and every quarter, year over year as well. Even if, let's say, margins drop to 25%, 24% or so, they will still be industry-leading margins. But of course, then there is a different price to pay for this business. And maybe that's why the stock has been under pressure. Now, they did also repurchase $151.4 million of stock at an average price per share of $63.52. They still had $647.7 million remaining, and that includes an additional $400 million in authorized repurchases approved by the board on June 5th, 2024. As for the outlook, that remains unchanged. So full year comparable restaurant sales growth in the mid to high single digit range, 285 to 315 new restaurants opening with over 80% having a Chipotle lane. So nothing new here. And so right now, if we look at the stock, clearly the stock could not hold in the area of the 200 day moving average dropped even lower, which means we're now oversold. We have been actually oversold for the last couple of days, but again, being oversold in the last couple of days, you can still go even lower. Maybe, maybe right now we are seeing some more buying activity at around the $50 mark remains to be seen. It's an industry thing, not a Chipotle specific problem. Looking at the weekly here, like I said, we couldn't hold at the 200 day moving average level drop lower, small gap here as well. Red candle last week, this week we're starting off with a green candle here, RSI, not oversold, but pretty low. So overall, just like I said in the previous Chipotle video, I think it's a tremendous business to hold for the long run. Of course, there is always a correct price to pay. Is this an overreaction, overcorrection? Maybe on the daily it does look like it's been oversold and maybe now at $50, we might find some buyers. It's definitely not a Chipotle problem. It's an industry problem. Consumer spending is probably slowing down more as well. But if you want to get a good business that has been trading at a premium for quite a long time, then yes, sometimes you have to pay that price. Of course, you can always skip. Nobody is forcing you to buy Chipotle, of course. That's up to you. That's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.